Liquid biopsies from blood are transforming the way patients with cancer are diagnosed. We wondered whether we could use DNA in urine for liquid biopsies. Our first experiment revealed something intriguing. In most people, cell-free DNA in urine had a very similar pattern of fragment lengths. This made us wonder, is DNA in urine fragmented randomly, or is it somehow organized? Inside cells, proteins bind DNA at different locations in the genome. What we found is that when this DNA makes it into urine, it gets fragmented, but not so much in regions protected by these proteins. We call these areas of the genome recurrently protected regions, or RPRs. Since in cancer patients, some DNA in urine may come from a different cell type, we wondered whether we will find more fragments that break within these RPRs. We found this was indeed the case. Just by counting how many fragments break within protected regions, we could identify urine samples from cancer patients with remarkable accuracy. While this was exciting, we and the scientists who reviewed our paper asked, how stable are these fragmentation patterns in urine? We asked five people to pee in a cup first thing in the morning at home, and again when they came into work. We found that the fragment length patterns between these two samples were essentially the same. These are exciting results that suggest that one day, we may be able to use DNA in a simple urine sample to diagnose cancer. Perhaps we could even collect it at home and bring it to a lab. But before we get there, we need to expand the study, find out how urine is different between healthy people, old and young, men and women, and between different cancer types and stages. If you would like to learn more, please have a look at our paper in Science Translational Medicine. And thank you for your time.